In this video I'm going to show you how to make social media ads with any random product image, for any brand. We got not one, note two, three examples to show you, so let's start. We are going to use the product on the left side for this video, anyway this image is from Pixels. Start by making a new canvas, for make a new canvas, go to file, new. For a social media ad in Facebook, the dimensions going to be f1080 by 1080 or 1350 by 1080. In this case we are going to make it 1080 by 1080. Now drag and drop the image to the new canvas. Now you can see it's a large image. Then go to the layer panel and right click on the image layer and convert it to a smart object. And always work with smart objects, with smart objects you can always come back and make changes. Now press Ctrl T on your keyboard for the free transform, hold Shift and rescale the image to your preferences. And for every short keys we are discussing while the video is for Windows PC, for Mac users, please change the control with Command, and Alt with Option. And I think this looks okay. Now we are going to use the pen tool to cut out the product. Select the first pen tool, click to start the selection, and click and drag to curve the selection. If you find a color following you, just go to the fill and check that off. That's it. Now we'll fast forward the video to make the selection. And always use the pen tool for a professional result. I can really use the quick selection tools for tutorial purposes. But I'm not doing that because that's not the best way to teach selection. After selecting everything, press Ctrl plus Enter on your keyboard to make the selection. Now select the product layer, and click on the layer mask icon to make a mask, now you can see. We got a perfect result with the pen tool. Now we will change the background color. For that, create a solid color and change the color to some lighter green. This looks perfect. And always save your PSD and priority. Now we will add the shadow. In some cases, you can really use the actual shadow that the product already have, our last video discussing that deeply. You can check if that will help in your case. The link is in the description. But in this case, we can't really use the actual shadow, we have to make the shadow from scratch. First, we will make the contact shadow, which is the shadow where the product actually makes contact with the background. We'll delete the layer first. Make a copy of the product layer by pressing Ctrl J on your keyboard. Now convert the new layer to a smart object. Select the Rectangle Marquee tool and just select the bottom part of the product. Click the Layer Mask icon for a mask and double-click on the layer, now tick the box for Color Overlay and change the color to black. And set the Blend Mode to Normal. Now convert that again to a Smart Object and duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J Press Ctrl T and right click on the box and flip that into vertical. Now arrange it to something like this. And select those two layers and make that a smart object. Now we will put the product image on top, and select the shadow layer. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, set the value something minimal, and press OK. And you can always change that by double-clicking the Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna leave it there, it looks nice to me. Then click the Layer Mask icon, and take the Brush tool to remove the areas that you don't want in your shadow. Black is the foreground color you can just draw to remove. Now we will add a Directional Shadow, or Cast Shadow. You can call it any name. For that, duplicate the shadow layer, and delete the layer mask, and delete the blur also, we don't want that here. Now go to Filter, Blur, 
and we will use the motion blur for the directional shadow. Adjust the angle and distance according to your preferences, it's useful for soft shadows in any cases. I think this looks okay. Now place your shadow in a nice way. And make a new mask. Then select the gradient tool, keep it black to nothing gradient, and just draw to fade the shadow in a good manner. Now you can see the shadow looks nice, if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe, that really will be a help. Now we will add some text to our creative. That I am copying from the bottle. If the text is in all caps, just go to character and check the caps lock off. And if you don't have this box, go to window and check in character. Now arrange the text as you like. If you want to use the same color text in the background, just select the background color and go 50% to any other side on the color panel with the same green, you will get a nice color for the text. Isn't that looks awesome? If the line is with the round edges, click on pen tool and select the layer and go to stroke and change round edges to square edges. Now we will add a bit more text. If the line spacing misbehaves, select the whole text by pressing Ctrl A, and go to the character panel and change the line spacing to auto. Arrange the text according to your case. We will delete some text after arranging. We don't want the whole text, and always remember, the lesser is better. Less text is better for advertising. Now we need a logo, I wasn't able to find the logo for the product online. So we will make it. It's a simple text, that won't be an issue, so let's see how to find which font they are using. Go to type, and click on match font. You will find a new box on the canvas. Drag and adjust the box in a way that only the font which we want to find is in the selection. Now Photoshop will find the font for you. Isn't that awesome? I will download some of this font from Adobe library. I'm gonna use this font for the logo. And sorry I forgot to change the L to lover case. If you check the thumbnail, the logo looks identical right? Now if you want, you can add a shape just to place the product. Just draw a square.
and bring that layer to the top of the background layer and change the color to some light green. This looks okay to me. Then go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And adjust the value according to your case, we just want to blur the edges. Now you can see we got almost everything, but its note feels good right? The reason is it not balanced, what I mean by not balanced, let me show you. Take rulers and make your canvas into four parts. Now you can see some parts are filled with things, and some are empty, that's why the creative feels odd in this case. If you can't find the rulers, press Ctrl R on your keyboard, the rulers will appear, and press Ctrl R again to hide the rulers. Now arrange the text and image, in a way that the whole thing feels balanced. Still, it lacks something, we have to add a little more text, in these cases find the price, or add a shop now button. I'm going to add a bit more text. Now you can see the final result, this is the simple way to make a creative, without anything other than, just the product image, now well check the second case, here we will use a simple podium. Arrange the podium in a neat manner, and go to the last PSD and select the product folder and press Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy that, and come back to the podium, paste the product by pressing Ctrl V. Now you can see in the new podium, that we have shadows already in the image. We have to match that for our product too. In this case, shadow has to be at the right side. So delete the layer mask for the shadow layer and arrange the shadow back to behind the product. Then arrange the shadow angle and distance according to your case. I think minus 9 looks fine here. Then adjust the product according to the background, in this case, decrease the size of the product. Now select the shadow layer, click on the layer mask icon and use the brush tool to erase the parts which we don't want. Add a solid color for the background layer, and select the color from the podium layer. Now select the podium layer, click on the layer mask icon and use the same brush tool to erase the hard edges.
Then paste the whole text part to the new creative. And adjust it according to the new creative. Always use rulers for a good result. In this case, I have changed the text part for the box to just three words, and always remember, social media ad is not for Oscar nomination, it's just there for a second, before the viewer swipes into the next one. So keep everything minimal. In this case, we have to keep the overall color scheme the same, I will show you a simple step for that. You can use this anywhere, and it will work. Add a solid color on top of the product layer, and change the color to some yellow. Now change the blending mode for the solid layer to color, and decrease the fill. Now it's in the same color scheme. or you can clip it only to the product layer. And change the color to some gray. And adjust the fill according to the color you choose. In this case, I think 42 looks okay. Then add one more solid color and keep it light orange. Change the blend mode to color and decrease the fill to some minimum. And you can always change the text color if you want and always take a break after designing. Then come back and look into your design. Then you will find out what are the mistakes you made, which that you will be able to create a new interesting design. This is the final result for this ad. And we'll attach the PSD in the description for this one. You can check that if you want. It's always finding the shadow angle, and placing the shadow in the right way that merges the product with the background. You can download this PSD from the description. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Please like and subscribe to support me and the channel.